Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Old Roommates. Today on the show, we revisit two music videos from Duran Duran. So work up an appetite, get hungry like the wolf, and jump aboard a sailboat to Rio and other Duran Duran-isms. The show is about to begin. All righty. Welcome, everyone, to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. This is Christina. And this is Brian. And we are revisiting, as Brian mentioned, Duran Duran videos, both of them from 1982. Oh, yes. Yes. And we have a bonus one on Patreon, also from 82. 1982 yes. is a huge year. Huge year for, for Duran, Duran Duran. So, but for this episode, we are going to focus on Hungry Like the Wolf mm -hmm. and Rio. Yep. And I watched them in that order. How did you watch them? Um, unfortunately, I watched Rio first and then Hungry Like the Wolf because Rio was released in October and oh. it seems that Hungry Like Wolf was released in um, December. Okay. Well, we can do either one. I don't care. Yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah. Um, and then the other one on uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash old roommates, will be a bonus episode, Save a Prayer. 87 million views on Save, Save a, a prayer. prayer. Yeah. That blows my mind, but yeah. it doesn't matter. It's, it's crazy. So we begin... <laughs> <laughs> we begin as we always do here at Old Roommates by talking about that. And Christina, I am so excited to hear. Mm -hmm. 1982, Duran Duran. What was your relationship with Duran Duran back in 1982? So it's really funny that you mentioned Duran Duran because I was not really a huge fan. Okay. I feel like I was the only one who wasn't a huge fan. Everyone went crazy over this band. And it was hilarious. I... I didn't mind them. I really liked, actually, John Taylor was gorgeous to me. Like, I thought he was absolutely beautiful. Okay. I did not like Simon Le Bon. Le Bon? Le Bon. Le Bon. Bon. Le Bon. Le Bon. I did not like Simon. Why I didn't not? think he was attractive at Ooh. all. And I thought he, he seemed very full of himself. Okay. Now, in 82, I think I was like a freshman in high school. You were like 14, 15? Somewhere around yeah. there, yeah. I feel like I was more into Poison and Motley yeah. Crue, all that. Maybe, is that too early for them? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no, you know what? I was more, I know what, I was more into like Aerosmith in Boston. Okay. That's what it, I, I was more into yeah, like, I like just more of right, like yeah. vintage kind of rock. Yeah. So again, I was not really a big fan of Duran Duran. I didn't mind the music, but I just didn't really listen to it. And I probably watched their videos maybe once. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christina, you're not going to believe this. I'm not, I, don't, I already don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. I, I had a lot of friends that were really obs obsessed in love with Duran Duran. Uh, and same, I, it was like huge fandom. And I couldn't connect to it. Me either. I don't know why. I found them to be very like, okay, they're fine. Okay, yeah. they're fine. I did not find any of them particularly cute, but I, it was but it was more so the music. I was just like, meh. It's a little like um, it's almost like they you know that song Africa by Toto. Mm hmm. I feel like it's like oh, and I'm trying to think of when that song came out. Yeah, eighty two. When was when did that song? When did Africa come out? Maybe Probably around that same time. Yeah, but it just seemed like a lot of it. It just felt very repetitive, like yes. very chorus heavy, like over. And I felt also like I'm sorry, I know you're talking right. about you, but. I always, I felt like all these songs sounded the same, the same. too. Yes. We're going to get into now very, very soon. <laughs> um, and, but I just remember being like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Clearly, this is like a, an optics thing. Like maybe I think, because a lot of, a lot of the people that loved them in my circle were women or mm -hmm. girl, girls, really girls. When I was, what, 10 years old. So, um, <laughs> but I remember people all those really, women you hung yeah, up. but I remember people like really loving Duran Duran and me feeling like I'm um, alone on an island being like, I don't know what the big draw is here, mm -hmm. but sure. 
Um, That's hilarious, Brian. I really felt the same way. Yeah, I don't know. I just I didn't think they were that. I didn't think they were that remarkable. Right. You know. So, um, but then again, it wasn't really my genre. I mean, I loved probably at ten years old. Is probably like uh, still listening to the fucking Xanadu soundtrack. Like right? I loved. Oh Olivia, yeah. Olivia Newton John physical. Like you know, probably that's probably was that around that time. Physical was that Seems eighty like or eighty two, but it doesn't matter. Olivia Newton John was pretty popular for a while. I was probably listening to her, um, and but get let's get into now. So what do we want to start with Rio or do we want to start with? It doesn't make it. I'll let you choose. We can do. We can start with Rio since you watched it first. All right. So we'll start with Rio. This was released in October of nineteen eighty two. It was a top five hit. On the Billboard charts. Interesting. Uh, the video has 7.6 million views. Christina, okay. when did you rewatch these? Uh, a few days ago. Okay. A few days ago. I usually leave the uh, videos, the to, videos the to the last yeah. minute. I know it's not too good. But so, yeah, so I sat down and started watching it. So this was filmed in Antigua. The first thought, actually, my first note is okay, lots of crotch and butt shots. That's my. Christina, my first note is serious? lots of vag and lower half shots. Weird, right? There, and I wonder because the women in these videos, and I will say this, I think collectively, mm -hmm. are um, a bit flat-chested. That's not an insult in any stretch of the imagination. It's, an it's just an observation. They are not well endowed in the chest area, and I, but. Be, and I feel like maybe that's why they're focusing on like, and I'm, but I'm being honest. I didn't find that these are not leg shots. No, these, these are like crotch. crotch shots. This was crotch. They walk kids, people walking, and that's all you see is the crotch, one thousand, or the butt, or the badge, or whatever. Yep. I just wrote lower half shots. A lot of veg and ass. Lower half, and not, and the, you that couldn't even get a get that's a. Good, that's my too. very first note. It's so my very too. first note. Lots of <laughs> oh my gosh, so so funny. Um, but but it kind of brings up something—a general note that I felt, and I guess I'll front load this. Like, I it I have never ha we've watched a lot of music videos for this podcast yes, over the years. It really seems like these men don't quite know what to do with a woman. And they almost seem afraid of women. I feel like there's like a little like these two videos we're talking about. There's a there's sort of a theme of like that that women are like these like mysterious creatures. Yes. Like they're they're multicolored and they're mysterious, but also can be violent. They seem like they're afraid of women. Well, in this, particularly in this video here, anytime they re they interact with the women, they're doing like they're messing up like they're they're spilling something or they're falling getting attacked by a crab yes but i did laugh at that i i, I thought <laughs> of you i'm like oh he's gonna have a problem with crab cruelty in this because of wait what did they do the crab uh one crazy summer with the lobsters oh no but the crab bit him yes. i mean that was pretty funny yes, yeah it was kind of funny but if i noticed and actually that's a positive in this video actually for me is they seem to have a little bit more of a personality yes than the other videos that I watched of them. Mm -hmm. They actually have a little bit of a sense of humor and they're kind of laughing at themselves and they're falling around. But it, it's every time they're interacting with a woman, to bring it back to your point, they are messing up in some way. They're falling or spilling or getting attacked by a crab. And it's not just Which one. Odd. And it's weird because, you know, her name is Rio. It's not just one woman no. either. It's different women. So that's what I mean. If Imagine if it was just what would have been interesting is, if I'm rewriting a music video from 1982, it's like <laughs> that if it was just this one woman that threw everyone off. Like, you know, there's one, yes, I, I laughed at that one. Sense. He's trying to pour champagne, and the champagne's going everywhere. Like, these are actually funny things, but it was like, but they were just doing it with any woman anywhere. And it was like, this is weird. It would have been better if it was like this one woman named Rio who threw everybody off. But yes, and one they of just the seem like a bunch of, a bunch of virgin, virgin, <laughs> virgins, <laughs> virgins. Think, I don't think there's a bunch of virgins here. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I noticed also one of the things that, in, in all three of these videos, is the the lyrics of the song have very little to do with what's happening in the in the video. Did you find that observation? Well, she dances on the sand. That's the only. Thing. <laughs> we don't even know if that's Rio, though. We don't even know if that's Rio. It's not even. In, it's um. It's in Antigua, by the way. I was expecting it to be in Rio. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Rio is the name of the. Yes. 
Uh, oh, sorry, my mansplaining. Once again. Oh my God. I'm gonna, you know what? There needs to be some sort of category at the end of the years. <laughs> <laughs> the number of times. Number so, of times. here's the thing. I, I have a big A plus on something. Mm -hmm. That sailboat footage is really nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like when the camera is like perched on the sailboat mm -hmm. and it's like they look like friggin rock stars. Like yes. they look like this is the life they should be living. They seem very confident and like kind of sexy. Although I agree some in Laban, I don't get it. No. But other, the guy who got bit by the crab, I thought he was cute. But like, uh, I don't know who he is. I don't remember who that was. But that sailboat footage is really striking and really cool. And I think it really holds up even, like today. I think it's beautiful footage. Yes. I liked it a lot. It made me realize, I'm like, yes, this is why they filmed here. Yeah. Because that place looks beautiful. I want to go there. This is a place I would like to visit. Mm -hmm. um, did I write that down? I wrote rock star smooth. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I what else? I did notice that they really like the odd shots. So aside from the crotches and the yeah. butts and all that, there's so many different shots that it, it almost feels like they're experimenting with a lot of stuff. But mm -hmm. it didn't feel experimental. If that makes sense, it definitely had a polished look to it. But there's there's like all these little shots like through portholes or like through a mirror or you know like yeah. all of these like weird angled kind of they shots. do a lot of split screen they really yeah. yes they they really like that sort of thing and it made it interesting yeah i found it very 80s but good 80s mm -hmm. like even the thing with the guy playing saxophone and that floating oh piece, my gosh like yeah. i was like this is a good video like i like that it was like saxophone floating on the water like and i thought that to your point they are trying new things mm -hmm. there's not much of a story which is usually negative in my book my but too. i think in terms of the 80s it looks crystal for the 80s it looks crystal clear there's a lot of 80s tropes which i thought were like the good 80s tropes yeah and um and i did like it I, but again i'll go back there's one point where they're dripping champagne on someone mm -hmm. i thought it was a guy at first and i was like oh no it's a woman who like, and, but they're pouring it on her lower half. Yeah, it's, they're obsessed it's, with the lower they're half. They really are obsessed with the lower half. Obsessed with the lower half. What else did I say? Oh, that sax player, though. That was the one time where it looked like a green screen to me, though. Oh, really? Yeah. There was one. Most of it looked pretty true, but that one, I'm like, ooh, that seems like it's a green screen. I think if I looked it up, I bet it would be. Funny. I didn't get that. Yeah. But you're probably right. Yeah. Um, Wow. You jumped on that. Wow. <laughs> you really jumped on that one fast. Um, the phones. Did you, I laughed at the phones. I wrote I did, LOL. I like that. Yeah. They have this bright pink phone and a bright blue phone, and they're talking to each other. On the, they look like the, 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 the little, little kid, kid phone, phones. Thousand percent. Right? I'm like, are those supposed to be? I actually was, thought it was, at first I was like, why are they bothering with the cord? And then I'm like, oh, because she pulls the cord. Right. And I, I thought the same thing. I'm like, what, like, where is it plugged into? Yeah, I'm like, why are they bothering with the cord? <laughs> it's like there's a lot, of, a lot of effort to show that cord. And I'm like, I'm like oh, it's because she pulls it later. Mm -hmm. But I would uh, say it felt really, it felt big budget. It felt... Yeah, yeah, this is a this is really done. nice to look at. Yeah, it was interesting and all of those different images... The suits were so 80s with the bright colors and the yeah. skinny ties. The only thing that bothered me was, I guess, the, you know, the couple of things that bothered me. But the other thing that bothered me was there is one woman who is getting splashed with, like, paint water. Mm. Um, I, If you watch closely, it goes right up her nose. I feel like they could have been mm. a little a little gentler. Oh, I didn't notice That's that. That's my note. Just a little gentler on the yeah. paint throwing. Or paint. It's not even paint. It's like colored water. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I didn't. I didn't notice the nose thing, but yeah, it was a little bit. Again, there's no reason for it. Right. I don't understand like why it was in it, other than I want to experiment with what this looks like. It just shows how little they really understand about women. Yes. To me, I mean, it was well, like. Well, I was wondering if, if they're gay. I, I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. I have no, no idea. But I absolutely got a bunch of gay vibes. I think maybe. In, oh yeah, yeah, it was in the in our bonus episode. We'll talk about oh, that. Oh, okay. But there was some definitely some gay vibes in it. I didn't know, it, but it, it's also very eighties that way. And they're also, you know, 
from, uh, are they from England? Where are they from? <laughs> but no, I'm just saying the European, yeah. they no, are I'm just much laughing more comfortable my phone with is, the femininity. Yeah, That's my... all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's no, like a I bad know, thing or anything. I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. They... Well, if they were gay, it would be very funny that they were like uh, treating, yes. the, you know, not treating the women this way. But it would just be funny because it's like, it feels disconnected. Like, yes. they don't know what to do yeah. with these women. So, I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if they were gay yeah. in real life. But we don't know that. I don't, I didn't do yeah, any of the research, right. no. <laughs> no. Not at all. But again, also in that same time frame, people weren't comfortable coming out as gay either. Like right. Like George Michael and all that, remember? Yeah, but I also, I don't know where they're from either. I know they're... Well, my phone's being I used, so I can't. I don't know. We'll you have your phone, phone right next to you. That's fine. I know, looking up. So, but that's all, I mean, that's honestly all my notes I have on Rio. Same. Um, we can jump into Hungry Like the Wolf. Yes. Um, I will speak slowly until you find out where they're from. Um, I Duran will Duran. Type slower then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving on to Hungry Like the Wolf. Mm-hmm. Uh, released December 1982. This was a top three hit on the Billboard charts. Yes, Christina? Birmingham, United Kingdom. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's where my sister in law is from Birmingham. Um, 15 million views for Hungry Like Wolf. Now, if my math is right, that is more than twice as many for Rio. Good job. Hungry Like the... <laughs> it's actually quite Did a bit. Did you do that math in your head? It's quite a bit more, actually. Um, so, I'm going to guess they're in India. Christina, are they in India? Um. And Hungry Like the Wolf? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Sri Lanka. Lanka. Sri Lanka. So, interestingly enough, yes, they are in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Um, This is 1982. So, I was curious too, so that's why I looked it up. Oh. And what's interesting is they did, they actually made three videos in Sri Lanka. This one, Save a Prayer, and another one. I can't remember which one the other one was. And I was trying, so I saw an interview about it, and they were saying how they went there, and it was so beautiful, and they filmed three videos. I couldn't, I couldn't do, I couldn't figure out if they were all there, if they did it all in one visit. Oh, probably. Like, all the, all the videos in one visit. The way it was worded, it made me feel like it was. Yeah. So I think that they actually filmed Hungry Like the Wolf and our bonus episode, Save a Prayer, in Sri Lanka at the same time. Um, I, if To me, I would hope they would have shot them all at the same time. Yeah. 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 Um, so I think it was like a manager or someone in the band had been to Sri Lanka before and thought it was amazing, and that's why they decided to go there to shoot the videos. Yeah. I think I was thrown off because it's like, it's Sri Lanka, like the city with all the merchants and all that, and the snake charmers, but then it cuts to the jungle, and I'm like, okay. Yes. Um, but my first note is negative, and I apologize. Simon Lebon, Lebon, looks <laughs> um, a little puffy. Yes. Right? He looks like he had like an allergic reaction to something. Like his face yeah. is very swollen. Yeah. Well, again, swollen. I never found him attractive yeah. at all, so it didn't really bother me. But I think just... I think he looks considerably different than in this video than the other yes, two. Yes, he does. He looks swollen to me. Now, like, remember, didn't... this is the first video I saw, so uh... it was. I noticed a difference in Rio. Yeah. So I went from hungry to Rio to save. So he definitely looked much different between hungry and Rio. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I wrote someone was puffy and swollen. Also, why is he so destructive? He's flipping, flipped a table. Oh, for no my reason. God, he. I have that same note. I said tipping over table. How rude. He pushes past people, and then at one point he's roughing up this little kid with questions and like, and and I wrote the kid's best friend is a flat tire. Be nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What is this kid? This kid does he even speak English? Mm-hmm. And they like they have him up against a wall and they're like asking him questions. I have a lot of problems with, with this video. This video is not a good this time. This video is not nice. It no. You, they do. They are not shown in a positive light. That is for damn sure. So you go to this place, Sh- Sri Lanka. Clearly, the people there are not wealthy. Right. They are not wearing nice clothing. It's very congested. They they look like they are. Kind of hurting. 
And I'm not being right? a smart ass. That kid was playing with a tire yes, in another scene. Yes. Yeah, that's his toy. Yeah. Yes. And here comes Duran Duran in no, there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Look at those in drinking. there, bright white suits, running through the village, pushing people yeah, around, obnoxious. literally pushing people around, and yelling at people. They were like yeah. aggressive with people, but I don't know why. And tipping over people, like they're sitting but in the same area, and he pushes over. This, this, I, there's no reason except for to apparently they're jerks. Like, but why, like, is, but there it's, not, no it's never reason. clear why they're doing this, why Again, they're behaving this nothing way. Nothing to do with the lyrics of the song. But they're right? just hungry. They're hungry. I guess they're hangry. Is that what it is? <laughs> Maybe it should be hangry like the wolf. <laughs> have, you ever, have, you ever flipped, have you ever flipped a table because you're, you're so hungry? hungry? Oh my God. Unbelievable. But people are around, very kind looking people too. They're not even angry. They're just kind of hanging out, just eating. They're probably real. Like the, I don't think they were paid extras. I think they were actual oh, real 1, people that lived yeah. there, right? Yeah, that felt that way. Ridiculous. So yeah, I just didn't understand where that hostility was coming from. <laughs> and then they're asking them, they're throwing, they're showing a picture of him, like, and I was, it's just unclear what is happening. Like, are yeah. you looking for him? Right. I and then he's in the jungle and he's like wrestling yeah that didn't age that didn't age well not it it's like all. let's all right so for the woman in the jungle we'll cast a black woman and she's a, has this like you know i don't know aborigine makeup on it's like just not right yeah and he has to tame her because she's too wild yes not good yeah the um and also it's like did they did they even kiss it or do they just like roll around in the dirt they like, roll around in the dirt but i will say in this video yeah. there are random pictures of the other band members yeah like making out and kissing with other yeah. women yeah random like and they're not women from nope. sri lanka no it, it's so bizarre like yeah. i don't understand what the purpose of this video is I really don't understand aside from the fact that they're just being assholes in this country yeah. like very disrespectful to the culture very Completely. disrespectful and oh and John Taylor as cute as he is running around with his bare chest I, I just I like I'm so to much of it did is. not age well for me um, well, one of the, I said ooh a lot. I, that's one of my notes. I said ooh a lot during this. And I'm one of, confused. And one of my, <laughs> one of my notes is, and this is, you know who I am. This grossed me out so bad. So this little kid is helping Simon Levon. Oh my God. I, with the yes. washcloth. Then it, oh my, oh my God. God. So gross. So the washcloth is this disgusting, I wrote it, gross. Yep. dirty, muddy washcloth. <laughs> that he has it's wet. So Simon Le Bon is like I guess overheated, and so the kid runs up to him with this wa washcloth, being this helpful. Cloth, by the being way, being helpful. So he wipes, <laughs> wipes his all over his head, Sweaty, all over his, his gross, wiping dirty, the sweat away, head. wiping the dust and the dirt of the city, wiping it all off of his face. And he rings it out in his mouth. <laughs> as soon as I start, no I'm like, way. Brian is screaming right now. No way in hell. I don't know what. I, 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 I Simon Le Bon was a good sport. No way in hell was that. Was that like? Here's, that here's was how we're gonna do so it. So nasty. I think the kid really misunderstood the cue. It should have been giving, ringing it out in his mouth first, and then wiping his face. Like you don't wipe someone's dirt, dirty oh. face with like questionable water. I know. And then wring it off in his mouth. It was so it was gross. so gross. Oh my gosh. I have that same exact note. Oh my God. So gross. Believe um, it or not. Uh, oh, and then I wrote more, more painted women. Like, I, like there's just the more women painted, painted women. It's, again. Yes. Just like in Rio. Just I don't. Just like in Rio. <laughs> they were ah. painted on the <laughs> chest. I don't know. <laughs> but they, I don't know. To me, it's like, I feel like the, they don't really understand women. So they make them yes. these sort of, um, like, foreign creatures. creatures, almost. That they have yes. to be, that they don't understand. They have to be tamed. Like, even on, in Rio, when she pulls the phone, like, she's like, uh, you know, in the beginning of Rio, don't they have, like, the circles, right, with her yes. face? Yep. It's like, they're like, they're not even really mysterious as much as they're almost... So, like it's almost like they're evil until proven, like I don't know, like lovers or yeah. something. It's very strange. It it's, is extremely it's strange. Confusing. I did look it up, and um, no one in Duran Duran ever announced that they were gay. 
Oh, okay. So, and then so right after it says, even Nick Rhodes, <gasps> who still sports lipstick and mascara in his late 50s, was married and had has had several long-term relationships with women. Wow. So, that's not what? I don't know why what, you that... say even... Yeah. Even Nick Rhodes. Well, that's... Oh, it's homophobe.com. It must that's be. The, yeah. It's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's hooksandharmony.com. Oh, I don't know what that is. I apologize. Don't go to it because I don't know what it is. It just sounds like a music website. Christina, we have a we have a job to do. We do. I think we know. I think we know. <laughs> I'm, think not, we I'm not even know. gonna write it down. I'm Only one that. can make the vault. Only one can make the vault. I you know, we keep saying we should make a list of everything that's I know, in the vault still and we not. just have not done that yet. So it joins a lot of other Videos like "Hello" from Lionel Richie. Yes. Um, um, uh, what, Love is the, a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. What was the Britney Spears one? Sometimes. 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 Uh, Lance more set. Uh, you ought to know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not gonna take it. We're gonna take it. Twisted yeah. Sister. So um, a lot of really yeah. great videos. Girls just wanna have fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, express yourself by Madonna. Yep. It's yep. really it's like we we have a bumper crop. We really do. take on me. Aha. Uh-huh. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So we have a bumper crop of videos in this vault. So which one will make the vault? One, one two, two, three, three Rio. Rio. Yeah, no question. That was pretty No easy. question. It just, Hungry Like the Wolf made me uncomfortable. And I won't even say it's by default. I think Rio is a really good video. It's it, beautiful. Yeah, you're right. It is yeah. beautiful. It makes, I was watching that and I'm like, I, I want to go there. I just, I yeah. felt like I was on vacation. It was so beautifully shot. It made me feel like. The I'm sailboat. There. The sailboat stuff is great. And again, sailboat, all the fun the colors. colors. It's very 80s. It, it was but, a it's, much, but it's yeah. like the right kind of 80s. Much more positive yeah. feeling than Hungry Like the Wolf. So, Duran Duran. And that's it for this episode of Old Roommates. Thank you for listening. For bonus content, please visit us at patreon.com slash old roommates. And follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, at Old Roommates. Thanks for listening. See you next time.